Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever and our Let's Recreate Manchester series. As you can see out ahead of us we do have our industrial area that we built in the previous episode. And there's some finishing touches we can do. But we'll come back to that at a later date. As you can tell from, or possibly tell from the title of this video we are going to continue on with our virgin west coast mainline route here we've got our predecessor there our virgin trains and at the moment bang come out of stockport Come under the roundabout here, and that's as far as she goes. So what we're, or what I'm hoping to do is continue the route out, branches off two different ways, and we'll make its way down here to where we're going to put a port at all. It'll be similar to the portal you've seen me build. Wow. Quite a few episodes ago now. Way over here, we have. Find it hidden amongst the trees. Erlen portal. Probably going to go something a bit different. I might not put a tunnel in this time, but we'll work out a way of doing it. Yeah, that's the task for this episode. Love how we've got little pockets of detailed. Now we've got all these masses of. Oh, that's the way the map should be. Yeah, got pocket layer of development. There, which we still need to work on. There. So much more detailing to be done on this. Even here, there's so much more road wise we need to fix and fit in. But anyway, instead of keep jabbering on at you about it, let's drop in at the time lapse and get it done.
Welcome back everyone. We're back in our live portion and we are at Stockport again. I think we did quite a lot in that um, time lapse there. Um, I know this, I've been playing around. One thing I really dislike in this game is... You can see I fixed it there. When you get this. Gaps in the ballast, hopefully they'll build a collision box so when you're smoothing it goes to here rather than smoothing in under the track because floating ballast shoulders and track like that really is a bugbear for me. I'd say it bugs me more than not having one way roads. But anyway. Moving on, we've got a whole new line in, which means we can put a new train in. We've got coming out of Stockport, we come down, we've got our station here at Davenport, and carrying on, not a whole lot here other than the station. We have Woods Moor for getting to our Hazel Grove portal. Now we did actually put a couple of portals in throughout this session. Oh, I think the tree will, yeah, the tree is going to miss that, so I'm happy with that. It's a shame I can't sort of cut the track off there and get that perfectly level with the edge, but no, compromises have to be made, and I think we've done okay with that. So anyway, we need to find somewhere we can pull a train from. Somewhere like here. By trains. And do that. We've got quite a lot. Got Sons Parade. We do need to get one of those in. A Jenny Lind. I think we'll have some Jenny Lind's. Um, what's the difference between weatherboard and normal? I don't know. We're going to buy that. And what we're going to go for is this colour on our coaches. I think three will do. And then we want to take a weatherboard version. Buy that. And again, same colour. One, two, three. And build a new line. And this line is going to be. Stockport to Hazel Grove. And this is going to be our northern service. Bring those out. Yeah, I think two trains on that line will be fine for now. Realised I put a capital G that's that right Let's see scoot back down lock port seven port wood small we want our hazel grove portal Pull them back at Woodsmore and back to Davenport. Right, what tracks are you taking out of here? Going over. Right. Um. Okay. Okay. I'll live with that. Um. Let's see. Can we put you on. Platform 
can. Um, yeah, I want to keep these two clear. Don't believe. No, that doesn't appear to be a crossover. Actually, there is one there. But then there's no crossover coming this way. So yeah, we're going to use that platform for now. And hit the play button. Okay. Or why you haven't that off on this route already, but there we go. It's got them on the go. Now for names. We're going with David Wright. And we're gonna give him not that. An O N E, which is Order of Nick Empire. So it's a play on an O B E. And the reason I'm doing this is David Wright is very consistent in commenting. Gives me lots of feedback, which I really love getting. And yeah, just all round great guy to have following the channel so I did suggest I was going to immortalize him in the game somehow he said that naming the train after him would be fine so there we are now we do have train 4 sitting here with no name that could be you if you want to of course just let me know we can get you added into the game. Let's follow this down. Now you are running the wrong track down here, train. I think what we need to do is get some signals working at some point. Let's just pause this and add a couple in now. Pathing signal one way. Plunk it there. There. Likewise. Get one in there. One in there. We do need to go along and signal this more. I know. Hopefully that's going to push this train over. Brilliant. What I like to see. What we can actually do is take a ride on it when it gets as far as Stockport. Do need to build a bit of retaining wall there. I was going to say next episode, but why wait? We're here. We've got the time. Let's get it done. Hello, I want. I think. Yep. Um. White. What material we're going to go with at the minute? Oh, definitely not anything like that after simple fence thank you very much game oh, gold bright green not really bright yellow red what option do we have for wood I think I'd like to go with the answer to that no we'll go with this so um Distance from track centre. Want to bring it in a bit. Um, point six. 
0 0.7. 0 0.7, that works for me. Right. We'll go for the longest option. And... Pop those in. This finishes off the look of the bridge a bit more, I think. You're going to be awkward now, aren't you? Um. Okay, we'll go with that option. That works for me. Zero, I think. Then a two. Two. One. One. Go with one. If we can fit. One in. Try dot oh. I think that one. Yep, that's looking good to me. Probably not perfect. Look at them posts. You can see the double thickness on it, but it's close enough. It works for me. Oh, we do have to, or I have to get on with populating this at some point. I think that's going to come later today, actually. Once I've wrapped up this episode, I'm just going to go and populate with buildings. The reason I'm not going to do it on stream is simply because it is going to take a lot. Long time for a little reward, if I'm honest. Also, we want to get sort of these roads laid where they need to be. Look at this. Eaton Norris expanding out there. Great to see. I'm going to say don't try and put building under the bridge. So. We're nearly here at Stockport. One thing you will have seen towards the end of the time lapse portion, sorry, is my representation of the depot for stagecoach. I'm finding, um, I don't know whether it's a width of the roads or off, but we're not really getting our one to one scale that was planned with the map. So things are still getting compressed. But as long as we can get the rail in, that's my main hope. And the road's looking pretty much right. Then I'm happy I can settle for that. Right. Jump on board and go for a little ride. Here we are at Stockport. I think, yeah, because we're technically on the wrong track it's going to run us straight through hopefully this is nice and smooth we're not going to have any bumps and lumps in the track if we are I'm going to pull them out oh, looking good so far road bridges need some work but again that's something we can either do in the next video or if you guys aren't too fussed I can go and do that off screen little touch ups like that They're probably a bit fiddly and not all that great to watch but once fixed we'll 
hopefully make for a much better video. I'm on that bridge there. Definitely going to bring that in a bit. like the game's already building a road off the left here. We are expanding. I do need to get more bus services going. So anyone who is local to this area and has knowledge of the bus routes, you could either drop me a message in chat or go find me over in Slim's Discord or any other social media, my Twitter, what have you, I'd be great to discuss that with you so I can get the bosses run right. I think when we come to the road side, I'm going to focus on getting the roads correct that the bus routes run on and then let the game sort of work out the rest. If we tried to build every road correct on the map. Well, we'll probably be looking at Transport Fever 3 being here by the time we've done that, so we shan't worry about that. Anyway, as you can see, not a lot out here at the moment. A lot of scenery work needs doing. But I figured, you know, we'll take a little run on a train taking the site so far work out what we need to do next so on and so forth see very basic stations here two platform jobbies there's no buildings to speak of or anything here as it is in real life just your very basic pull up and stop Side. Oh, don't worry. And here we are heading for Hazel Grove Portal. Now these are of course the one compromise we have to make is a fake switch over here. We go round and into our portal, but for me, I like the idea of these portals. It probably do with the wall of trees there, the mask at the end. But as I was saying, yeah, I, I like the idea of doing these portals. It just means you're not compromising on your track plan around your stations you're trying to recreate you're not having to put points in that aren't really there just so you can get your trains cross and reverse for me this is a much better solution you bring the train to the edge of the scene make your compromises and then it looks like the train is heading to the rest of the world jump off that now As our David Wright. Not the fastest mover, but hey, we're in 1855. We can't really complain. But, yep, coming back over here, that's one route we've got in. We have started on this one round here. As you'll see, though, it does just come to an end there for now. 
we will be coming back and addressing that. Not sure what's going on with this road here. Need to look into that. Very weird road. But yeah, that's definitely going to have to be replaced. But most importantly is this route out along here. Because this is our west coast main line heading south. Continues all the way down. Crossing over this line here. I'm not sure what will be happening with this line. Whether we'll end up with any trains running on it. Depends on what's at either end to be fair. But the line comes down in two tracks here. As per the real thing. And then again we've got our fake crossover. Ready for our portal down here which is the Cheadle Holm portal so in real life Cheadle Holm station will be just down here because we've run out of room to fit that in but who knows maybe on Transport Fever 2 we can make a bigger map just throw in a bit of smoothing action there Get that done. Oh, I have a person already. Where are you? Oh, we're here, so. We look. Davenport does actually capture this part of town. And as a consequence, we are getting passengers already. That's brilliant. What are you waiting for, train? Oh. And we've hit an auto save. Scary auto save, it was taking an awful long time to kick in there. Gone. That's it. Right, so. We need. Get some signals going on down here. One way, no. I want to get this train out and about. Hopefully that's going to allow us to do that. No. Can't be a one way. That needs to be a two way. That's going to use that link around there. Anyway, that train's finally on its way. So, I think we can call it on this episode, guys. So, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I do have links down below to the Steam collection for this playthrough. And the beginnings of my TransportFever.net Google dock as well so you can get the mods I use from there as well it isn't complete I am going to be working on that as time moves on oh look at this got to race out of the station oh David Wright's going to be held at signal however that is 
right, we should be making priority for our virgin trains there. So anyway, yep, go check out those links for the mods I use. Um, drop any comments you may have on this episode or the series in general. If you're not already a subscriber and you don't want to miss another episode, of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That will give you notification when the next video goes live. And I think that's going to be about it. So, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.